In this tutorial, I'm going to show you what we mean by the problem of recursion and infinite recursion in Spring Boot and how to solve it. So let's go to try to assess the API endpoint local hotspot 8080 products. And this is actually this Spring Boot application running here. So I'm going to try to assess the slash products endpoint and let's see what we mean by infinite recursion. So I'm going to go to HTTP localhost 8081 and I'm going to product and you can see completely infinite number of items displayed here and this is a problem of infinite recursion and this is a problem where uh, child objects refer to the parent object and parent object refers to the child object okay so let's solve this problem so the first solution we are going to use is the JSON identity info of course there are four different solutions I'm going to show you how to apply them one after the other. So in this case, JSON identity info, this annotation is used to manage secular reference by using object identity during serialization and deserialization. When, serializi when serializing an object, Jackson assigns an identifier to it so that if the same object is encountered again, like in a bidirectional relationship, Jackson will reference the identifier rather than, this, than serialize the entire object again. So let's go to do this in our Spring Boot application. So in this case, we can see that product also has subcategory. And if you go to subcategory, you see that subcategory also has list of products. So what we can do is these two items or these two object classes, we are going to annotate both of them with a JSON identity info and I'm going to do that right now in the product entity. So I'm going to say JSON identity info, and I'm going to specify the generator to be the object generators dot properties generators dot class. And the property in this case is going to be the ID. Now, if you do this, you also have to do the same in the other class, which is in the case of the, in the case of product, we also have subcategory so if i do this in subcategory we can be sure that this problem will be solved so i'm going to save everything and let's run this application and let's see what we have so application started again on port 8081 i'm going to refresh this and now you can see that the items here they are reduced however there is also some problem of recursion between the subcategory in this case and category if I set it to pretty print, you can see that we also have recursion going on. In this case, we have category having products and subcategories having categories, right? So in this case, we have to solve this problem between subcategories and categories. So if we go back to our model, there are two ways we can solve it. So let's see. So one thing we can do is to simply add the same annotation on the categories class. So let's go back to do this. So I'm going to take this same annotation and simply add it to the categories class because in this case, the circular reference is between category and subcategory, whereas between product and category, there is no circular reference, but between category and subcategory, we have the same and category have subcategories and uh, subcategories has products. So the safe thing to do is to add the same annotation right here. And if I, if I refresh now, we are going to see that the problem is reduced. Okay, so let's go to refresh and let's see. So I'm going to refresh the page. And now the problem is solved to some extent. So what it means is that we have product, we have subcategory, inside it we have category, and inside category we also have subcategories, and inside subcategories we have product and it ends there so you can see that product does not include product does not include any more subcategories but it's using the subcategory id and the category id now what we want to do is in subcategories we don't want this list of products right so subcategories is giving us list of products but we already have lists of products what we are displaying currently so we are going to tell subcategories that please stop displaying list of products. And how do we do that? That takes us to the next annotation. And that, that annotation is JSON managed reference and JSON back reference. So what we are going to do is we are going to annotate in the subcategories model or class, we are going to annotate the product with at JSON managed reference 
and in the product field we are going to annotate the subcategories with adjacent back reference so in the add one to many we are going to use the managed reference so let's go to the product or the subcategories and here we are going to use json managed reference here and in the case of the products here we are going to use a json back reference so if i save everything we are going to see that this problem is reduced but you can actually reduce it further or granularize it further but let's see what we have right now so the application starts again on port 8081 and i'm going to go to refresh so let's print the print and you can now see that the product is retrieved and it doesn't have any further subcategories fetching categories okay and this is fine but i might have a use case where i actually need the subcategory in the products right i actually need the subcategory in that case we are now going to use the json ignore so i want to have the subcategories actually completely complete subcategory object so let's see how we are going to do that by using the json ignore or the json ignore properties so that takes us to the next one json ignore this annotation is used to ignore a specific property during serialization and deserialization it's often applied to fields that you do not want to be part of the json serial of, of the json output so what i'm going to do now is to go back and remove this and we are going to now use json ignore so this is in products and i'm going to go to subcategories i'm going to remove this as well so instead of having managed reference here i'm simply going to ignore this product list by using a json ignore by the way i'm going to first refresh so that we can see that we have it right there and later i'm going to now ignore it and so it doesn't give me the list of products so if we go back we have the same problem now we don't want the list of products here in subcategories so what i'm going to go to i'm going to go to the subcategories and tell it to ignore the list of products by saying a json ignore and if i save everything and refresh the subcategories will no longer include the list of products so let's see so i'm going to refresh and if i pretty print you can now see that subcategories no longer include the list of products as you can see right here however the product includes the subcategory but subcategory does not does not include the list of products however the subcategory includes the category and category includes the subcategories so i can actually tell category please ignore the subcategories right so if i do that it's going to eliminate the subcategories here and reduce the list further you can actually try that out by yourself but i'd like to give you another annotation in this case json ignore properties in the case of json ignore properties you want to ignore more than one properties of the object this annotation is used at a class level to specify a list of properties that should be ignored during serialization or deserialization you can use this to ignore unknown properties in the incoming json or skip certain fields when serializing so if we go back to our model and you want to actually ignore category here and also product you can now specify in this class level at json ignore properties and then you want to specify the list of pro the list of properties you want to ignore so this is where i'm going to stop i want to believe that you've understood how to solve infinite recursion problem how to configure the fields you need and the list of field stop fields you need in your uh in your in your rest api and please feel free to reach out to me if you have any further problems with this and take note that these are annotations peculiar to spring boots and they don't apply to apis build it may be nodes or python django or other framework i'd like to thank you for viewing remember to subscribe to my channel also like this video if it has been informative for you and we'll see you in the next part